What's up guys, it's Shara here and let's just say I had a comment today. It kind of like mm, rubbed me the wrong way and I feel like it means I gotta make a video, right? Okay, so we're gonna talk about being confused about your sexuality. Sexuality, confusion, not knowing what's going on words, you know? So it's like, <laughs> so here's the thing I will say from my standpoint of having dated guys and everything because as a kid or girl whatever you, everybody wants a boyfriend everybody wants a boyfriend everybody wants a boyfriend so of course you want to be included I want a boyfriend too I want to be included in this I want to get to me my rom-com stuff I want to feel butterflies inside I want that stuff so you do that, and that's what's normal, that's what's regular, and that's what's expected of you. Never was I coming home and my parents being like, oh, you have any crushes on girls at school? Like, no. Nobody asked me that. Um, my mom may have asked me a couple of things. However, however, it never came out quite as genuinely Never felt safe, okay? Never felt safe. Anyways, this is not what that's about, but it's about like how things are just different. That because, let's see, how many years ago was it? Like over a decade ago, the world was a very different place. Wanting, having a crush on your girlfriend, having a crush on girls in school or girls you know or girls or anything like that. As much as, yes, there were gay people and there was these things and there is stuff out there, I never felt, um, it felt terrifying because it wasn't normal. And let alone the fact that I have ever, um, sorry, I'm driving freckles to the dog park. <laughs> I have never felt normal. I have never felt like I fit in and YouTube didn't exist when I was a teenager and like there was no people for me to look up to that felt like me and that had the same kind of confusion. It felt like anybody else who say identified as gay, who identified as lesbian knew, like they just knew. They knew, oh I'm gay and that's it. And they, like, and I was like, well I, I'm confused, I don't know. I know I have these feelings and I know I'm too scared to tell anybody and I'm too scared to even tell that person. So I just told nobody and just bottled that up and kept that inside and kept doing what I was supposed to do. And, oh, well, I kind of like this guy. Like, oh, I wanna, like, be my boyfriend, be my boyfriend, be my boyfriend. Like, because like, you know, being single sucks. And I read a lot of Cosmopolitan when I was a kid because how else was I going to learn about sex? So I <laughs> subscribed to that magazine. Um, things were different. And that's where I got my source. So everything in, say, a Cosmopolitan magazine is very much geared toward heterosexuality being normal and the, like, only option. How to please your man, how to do this, how to blah, 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 better or, you know? There's nothing that's like, Nobody to explain things to you. Even sex, sexual education in school, we were never taught about being gay or gay sex, fuck that, no idea. Freaking, I had no idea exactly what, I had never seen a, what a penis looked like till it was in my mid-teens. Just not available to me. Stuff was very different and limited. So things, things were different and being raised that way and seeing that that was the only thing and even not even knowing about you know heterosexuality that much as a teenager well how the fuck am I supposed to figure myself out at that young of an age and getting into relationships still being like <laughs> you can even ask Brandon this of like all the things of like, I want this, I want this, these things. And he's like, guys aren't like that. And not ever putting together 
the fact that the things that I wanted were never traits that really come from a man. They were things that come from a woman. And no wonder I was trying to change all these people that I dated because I was never gonna find what I was looking for in those people. So to explain away because it's only until I opened myself up and I allowed myself to have a look-see in because I was always so scared of like, well, what if I am gay? That, like, only after I was like, well, if I am gay, then I'm gay. And if people think I'm gay, I'm fine. If people think I'm gay, like, whatever. <sighs> it's just, that's what it is. Like, who cares? Like, you can like whoever I want to like and whatnot. But then I just found, well, who have I been attracted to? Who, what was the psychology between, between some of the things that I watched and that I thought I liked the guy, but really I wanted the girl and I wanted the girl to get the guy because I wanted the girl to be happy. It's a weird fucking thing. And <laughs> I only recently realized that part of it like watching The Notebook and Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams being together and you just, like you want, but like I just, I love love too. And <laughs> like what guy in a rom-com is a real guy? Any guy in a rom-com is a woman. Those are traits of a woman. <laughs> I don't know, but so it's just, not being given the examples to kind of understand and people at school making fun of people for being gay or even just thinking that those people were gay keeps you quiet. And it keeps you from asking questions, it keeps you from saying things, and it keeps you from t telling people things that you probably should have. And you know what's crazy is like, I talked to my therapist the other day and she's like, well, what happened when you told people we were gay? And I was like, nobody cared. <laughs> All that hubbub, but also I'm an adult now. Like if I had done it, obviously, like in high school, it probably, that would have been horrible. What the, what was that, Lexus? Just drove around, what was, that was insane. Okay, <laughs> that was crazy. So anyways, nobody cared because obviously I am an adult and who cares? You could like who you want to like and whatnot. So now, knowing more who I am and what I like and who I am attracted to and who, you, you know, gives me some flutters. It's always the ladies. It's never the men. So I may have one point said, yes, I, I, I'm bisexual because I'm attracted to both men and women. When not really understanding, like at that time, that's what I thought it was. And I thought, because I had been in this relationship for so long that how could I not be bisexual then? Like I just, even I didn't understand. And I know it diminishes people who are actually bisexual by me then being like, well, no, I think, I know I'm a lesbian, I like girls, I'm not bisexual. But what about the guys you've dated? What about every, and it's like, for the most part, there's only been one person, you know, that I had that like real relationship with, if I explain the other things, such a mess. That, it was that person, it was that soul, it was that same energy to be rich and be an actor and be famous and go to California and live our dreams and try to make the wildest, craziest fantasies happen of like what our life could be and to get out of poverty and fall in love with that soul. But, oh my God, bicycle. So, 
really loving one guy out of everything, like, then that just means I can't, that that's what led to so much confusion also for me, and more stuff, there's more stuff than that, but it's just that life is longer than you think it is, okay kids? Life is much longer than you think it is, and at certain points, you may be absolutely certain that this is who you are, and you will never change, and things are this way, and this is how you feel, and that's okay. But just be open to the fact that things could change. You could feel different. You may become more open to other things. You just might not be all entirely who you think you are yet. You might not be a whole person yet. Whether it be things that have happened to you, traumas or whatnot, and that it's okay. And so the fact that this has nothing to do with just being gay, this is to do with being a good person. Because like, if you've done stuff in your past and you're like, well, I'm not really that person anymore. Exactly. Anybody can feel that. And you grow and learn. And we're all fallible. We're all human. We all make mistakes. And most of us are sorry. And some of us are sociopaths. Just kidding. But um, don't put a joke there. Don't put a joke there. Especially since you're not editing it. Okay. But like... <laughs> Shit, why did I put that joke there? Okay. There's just, you gotta understand that you may feel a certain way and later you don't or whatever and that's okay. Now I take quite a bit of heat because I put stuff out on the internet and man oh man do I pay a price for, for saying some things. But like what's, is it important? I feel like it's important to a degree because I didn't have the things, I didn't have anybody to relate to. So I put that out there because even the pain of the people fucking saying shit to me that really, really hurts because they hit on my real insecurities of like, you know, not being gay enough or whatever, that like I'll take it because somebody else out there needs that video. And then maybe they see the, the journey of how that became to that to that. And understand that you don't have to know that from zero to a hundred that you are this. That it's a process and it takes time. So, please stop leaving mean comments on my video. <laughs> But just, I don't know. So, sexuality is a process, it's ongoing, it changes, you know, in, it changes in that of what you're more able to be free with of yourself. Does that make sense? Like, um, how do I explain, like, like it finally admitting something to yourself in that it changes because never in my dreams did I ever think I was gonna tell anybody that I was a lesbian and I like girls and I had a crush on this person, I had a crush on this person, I had a crush on this person. Never did I ever think that was going to happen because that was something that was just, I knew and I'm not telling anybody. And here we are, and yet here we are. Any, most of the things I say I'll never do, I end up doing. Like because I'm pushing to grow and become a happier, healthier person, I guess, like trying to feel whole, you know? So I don't know if this helps or not about being confused about your sexuality, but just know it will get better, it will get easier, it's scary, things change, you grow up, you might be brave enough to finally admit things out in public that you never thought you would, and then people, you know, people are always going to say something. People are always going to judge you because they're judging themselves. Because why would you want to make anybody feel bad? 
if you inside don't already feel bad. That's why people judge because they don't have the things that they want or they don't feel like they are enough. So you're not enough. You can't feel like that. You can't be that. You can't change. You can't do those things. You can't say you are bisexual. You're eliminating bisexuality, bisexual erasure. And that's not cool. Well, I'm not the only person responsible for that. And I'm doing the best that I can. And we are all human and we are all trying. <laughs> I feel like the people in the other car are looking at me because I'm yelling. Okay, so you know what? This this is enough. This is a, This video is way too long. So... Just love yourself, you are enough. Tell yourself you're enough, you love yourself, that's all that matters, okay? And uh, yeah, you wanna be gay, be gay. Go, go gay it up, okay? There needs to be more, more, because I know so much is still hidden. It, uh, that sucks, I'm doing my best to hold up that flag too, okay? So, hope, which, I don't know. <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs> oh, sign up for my newsletter if you haven't already. I already sent out an email and some y'all got a surprise. Ayo! My, yeah, so if you're on the email list, you're the only ones that got it. All right, later guys. I'm Jarrah, sky's the limit. Whoa, <laughs> I got a trap. <laughs>